an imminent fear of dystopia and the inherent uncertainty of the future seem to go hand in hand, which is probably why the cyberpunk genre of fiction continues to be such a popular setting in all mediums of entertainment, which includes video games as well. There are just so many developers working on amazing-looking games that explore this theme in new and interesting ways. And we'll be looking at 15 such upcoming cyberpunk games of 2023 and beyond. Ghost Runner 2 Ghost Runner was easily one of the biggest surprise hits of 2020, and fans were absolutely impressed by its fresh gameplay ideas and the one-hit-one-kill design philosophy overruling it all. A sequel was known to be in the works, and the recently unveiled Ghost Runner 2 looks primed to build upon the foundations of the original in new ways. Ghost Runner 2 will, once again, thrust players into the dystopian setting of Dharma City as they slash and dice their way through hordes of new enemy archetypes and other such obstacles. In addition to having motorcycle levels, the game will also feature better boss fights and more complex level designs, among a slew of other improvements. It releases for PC, PS5, and Xbox Series sometime in 2023. Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty Phantom Liberty is the only expansion that will be released for Cyberpunk 2077, and CD Projekt Red looks to be going all in with this massive content update. Set in an entirely new part of Night City, Phantom Liberty will take players through a spy thriller story that twists and turns based on the decisions you make during the critical moments. Apart from that, this expansion will also bring a revamped progression system, updated police response mechanics, vehicle combat, and a bevy of other improvements to the Cyberpunk 2077 base experience. It'll be released for PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X on the 26th of September 2023. X-Killer Currently in development at Paradark Studios, X-Killer is easily one of the most interesting renditions of a cyberpunk world. It combines a futuristic dystopia with elements of the Wild West to create something absolutely fresh, and you assume the role of a bounty hunter on a quest to take down an evil megacorporation. Apart from the gorgeous art style, X-Killer also promises a robust set of gameplay mechanics ranging from flexible playstyles to skill-based character progression to story choices and much more. It releases for PC, PS5, and Xbox Series sometime in 2025. Replaced Sad Cat Studios' upcoming Replaced is a 2.5D action platformer sporting a beautiful pixel art style. It takes place in a dark and depressed world overrun by corruption and greed, and you experience the struggles of an AI that finds itself trapped in a human body against its will. The gameplay is a mix of cinematic platforming and hack-and-slash combat, and while it isn't anything particularly fancy, it definitely looks pretty solid on the whole. Replaced is coming soon for PC, Xbox One, and Xbox Series. Nivalis Yet another fresh twist on the cyberpunk genre, Nivalis veers away from the action-centric tropes of contemporaries and instead puts the focus on living a peaceful and productive life in a futuristic city. Currently in the works at developer Ion Lands, Nivalis is a life simulator that tasks players with running a small business like a noodle stand or medicine store, and working their way to success all while engaging with side activities like fishing, farming, or exploring the many romance options available in the game. It looks like a pretty relaxing experience, and we're interested in seeing how it ultimately pans out. Nivalis releases for PC sometime next year. Code Sin Unveiled all the way back in 2020, Code Sin was supposed to be gaming giant Tencent's grand foray into the cyberpunk genre. It's being built using Unreal Engine 5, and it will take place in a large cyberpunk open world where you can customize your character and have a companion pet to ride alongside you as well. Details on other aspects of the gameplay are paper thin at the moment, but it definitely looks impressive on the visual front. Code Sin was supposed to originally release in 2021, but that obviously didn't happen, so we're expecting it to come out at some point in the near future. Flashback 2 a sequel to 1992's Flashback, Flashback 2 is a 2.5D action-adventure game that combines platforming elements with action-packed combat to create something that looks really fun. 
Flashback 2 also marks the return of the original creator, and the story will take players to a wide variety of futuristic locales including, but not limited to, Tokyo, Washington, and lush jungles. Making your way through hordes of enemies looks chaotic in the best way possible, and we'll be diving into this one when it releases for all major last-gen and current-gen platforms on November 16th, 2023. Hyenas Creative assembly of Alien Isolation fame is hard at work on Hyenas, an upcoming hero-based extraction shooter which looks to have some great cyberpunk-inspired art direction. You'll be taking control of various heroes with special abilities as you try to loot valuable goods and defeat the opposition in zero-G environments. The gameplay might be on the familiar side, but it looks pretty fun nevertheless. It releases for PC, PS4, 5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series sometime in the near future. Neo Berlin 2087 Elysium Game Studio is hard at work on Neo Berlin 2087, which tells the story of a detective Nolan, who sets out to protect the chief's daughter amidst all the chaos and violence of the deeply disturbed city of Neo Berlin. The gameplay blends action and detective elements together, so you can expect to juggle between exploring environments to look for clues and fighting enemies using a wide array of weapons and abilities with this game. Neo Berlin 2087 absolutely looks gorgeous with great use of cutting edge lighting and reflections, and it's definitely worth keeping an eye out for. It'll be released for PC sometime next year. Dreadhunter Set against the backdrop of a sci-fi world, Dreadhunter is a top-down roguelite that tasks players to trudge their way through insurmountable odds in hopes of attaining the highest bounties on the planet. The gameplay effortlessly switches between melee and ranged fighting, and you must stay nimble and tactical if you wish to best the many bosses that lie between you and victory. The levels are procedurally generated, which helps with replayability, and you can also experiment with different playstyles to find what fits your fancy. Dreadhunter is available in early access, but the final launch is currently slated for Q4 2023 for PC. Sprawl Developer Mayeth Sprawl is an upcoming boomer shooter that takes place in a cyberpunk world filled to the brim with enemies waiting to smash you into a pulp with their endless barrage of bullets and rockets. As you can already imagine, the combat is extremely fast-paced and requires precise movements and swift thinking. But Sprawl also adds in bullet time abilities and wall running to keep things interesting and unique. It releases for PC sometime in August of 2023. Cyberpunk Detective as the name gives it away, Cyberpunk Detective is a game that lets you live out your fantasy of being a detective in a cyberpunk city filled with crime and injustice. The game is played in the first-person perspective, and you'll be solving puzzles and analyzing clues in an effort to solve all sorts of crime cases across the open world. Cyberpunk Detective will also feature combat scenarios and the ability to attach cybernetics to your body, which sounds really exciting and will be released for PC sometime in the near future. Blade Runner 2033 Labyrinth Annapurna Interactive's upcoming Blade Runner 2033 Labyrinth is an exploration adventure game set between the events of the first film and Blade Runner 2049. The story will explore the life of a Blade Runner after the blackout, which erased the records of all replicants. Which is a rather interesting premise. Details on the gameplay remain scant for now, but all signs point to the game not being too reliant on combat encounters, and instead relying on telling a story through exploration sequences and maybe even set pieces. Blade Runner 2033 releases for PC sometime in the near future. Synced Set in a post-apocalyptic future where nanotechnology-powered bots have brought the world to its knees, Synced puts players in the shoes of warriors who must answer the call of duty and embark on a quest to restore peace to this land. It's a free-to-play third-person shooter where groups of players work together to hold off waves of enemies. But Synced differentiates itself from the rest of the pack by introducing fellow nanobots. You see, players can summon different nanobots to aid them in battle, and different variants of these bots serve wildly different purposes. Which also adds a tactical element to the gameplay proceedings. Synced releases for PC sometime this year. Vigilancer 2099 
Originally starting life as Vigilance 2099, Vigilance 2099 is all about working as a bounty hunter. In a tightly packed mega building filled with all sorts of threats and opportunities, the visuals look astounding thanks to great art direction and attention to detail. And while the gameplay definitely looks to be a bit simple when compared to contemporaries like Cyberpunk 2077, the game will offer a vast amount of varied content and character customization. It'll be released for PC sometime in the near future. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.